Have you ever wondered how some people your age seem to be on a fast track to financial success while others just keep struggling to make ends meet? Here's a fact that might surprise you if you're in your 20s or 30s and have a plan, you're already ahead of the game. But if you don't, today could be the day that changes everything. This video isn't just about how to start investing, it's about setting the foundation for wealth. And yes, I get it, investing can sound intimidating, especially with terms like stocks, portfolios, and compounding being thrown around. But we're going to break it down in a way that makes it not just easy but, more importantly, accessible. By the end of this video, you'll have a roadmap, and even better, you'll understand exactly what to do to make your money grow. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for the full journey because I'm saving some gold at the end you won't want to miss. Step 1. Setting clear financial goals. Before you dive into investing, you need to know why you're doing it. Investing without goals is like setting sail without a map, you'll drift without direction. So, ask yourself, what do you want to achieve financially? Maybe it's buying a home, having financial independence by 40, or being able to travel freely without stressing over expenses. When you have a clear goal, it keeps you motivated and focused. Now, here's the trick, make your goals measurable and realistic. If your aim is to have $100,000 saved up in 5 years, break it down, how much do you need to save monthly? What can you invest in to hit that target? Setting realistic goals not only gives you purpose, but it builds confidence as you hit each milestone. Step 2 Building your first investment portfolio Where to start? Now that you have your goals, it's time to explore where to invest your money. But let's keep it simple. You don't need to jump into complicated stocks or cryptocurrencies if you're just starting out. Instead, focus on beginner-friendly investments. Real estate, for instance, can be a good investment if you're looking long-term. Now, I know what you're thinking real estate sounds expensive. But with options like REITs or real estate investment trusts, you can invest in properties with less money than buying property outright. Or, take a look at high-yield savings accounts or CDs for safer, low-risk options that still grow over time. For those who want a balance, mutual funds allow you to pool your money with others, giving you access to a diversified portfolio without needing to be an expert. When done right, Building your first portfolio is less about speed and more about smart choices, so don't rush it, invest with intention, and watch the seeds grow. Step 3. Leveraging technology to make investing easier. One of the best things about living in this digital age is that investing has never been more accessible. Back in the day, investing meant hiring a broker, paying hefty fees, and hoping they made the right decisions with your money. But now, we have technology on our side. Apps like Robinhood, Webull, or M1 Finance have made it easy for beginners to jump into the market with minimal costs and zero commissions. These apps come with tools and data that once were available only to professionals. They let you research, buy, and manage your investments all in one place and right from your phone. Imagine investing while you're waiting in line for coffee or while chilling on your couch. It's that easy. And here's a tip, look for apps that offer educational resources or robo-advisors. They guide you, making the learning curve smoother and helping you avoid rookie mistakes. Let technology do the heavy lifting while you focus on building that wealth. Step 4. Staying consistent and avoiding common pitfalls. Consistency is key in investing. The biggest mistake beginners make is getting caught up in the highs and lows of the market. Imagine you planted a tree and expected it to grow in a week, you'd probably feel disappointed, right? Investing is similar. It requires patience and regular contributions, even if they're small. 
Set up automatic transfers so you're contributing to your portfolio without having to think about it. That way, whether the market is up or down, you're investing consistently, allowing you to write out any short-term fluctuations. And one word of caution, don't let fear or excitement dictate your moves. The market will have ups and downs, but if you stay the course, focus on your goals, and avoid the trap of quick wins, you're setting yourself up for true financial growth. So here we are, you've got the tools, the mindset, and the game plan to start investing. Remember, it's not about getting rich overnight, it's about building a strong financial foundation for a lifetime of wealth. Investing is about growth, and growth takes time. Are you ready to start planting those seeds? Click that play button, and I'll see you in our next video, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Investing in 2024, where we'll dive even deeper. This journey to financial freedom is yours for the taking, start today, and your future self will thank you.